Hello, welcome to Dead Affair 2. Um, anyway, this is a bit of a blind run. Uh, there's no wiki for it. I'll try and go through as much detail as I possibly can. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so this Hello, is... my name is Jane Frey. You're annoying me. Prepare to die. Evidently, voice acting has improved. Uh, these two characters were in the original. Uh, these two are extra characters. Um, uh, Jane Frey and Gunnar, no matter what you, who you played, he had no bearing on the game. Um, I'm guessing the same thing happens this time. I'm not sure. Um, they were infected though, so I'm guessing the story is going to continue by you being cloned because they were infected and there was no cure, I believe. So. Well, anyway, let's, let's have a look. The ESS Meridian, the first interstellar colonization ship sent from Earth to Tau Ceti. A giant ark filled with the best that humanity could offer. Most of the colonists were put in cryogenic hibernation. Only a handful stood watch and continued with the scientific research. Free from the constraints imposed on research on Earth, they developed many wonderful technologies. They even conquered death itself. They learned how to create life and turned themselves into monsters. The reign of terror and mad science on board the ship ended when one brave soldier himself a part of another mad experiment, managed to break free and kill Professor Wagner. In a just universe, that soldier would be a hero. But we're not living in a just universe. Okay. And the worst neural damage is patched, Doctor. Good. Activate the visual cortex. Leave the rest of the brain blocked for now. Are you sure it's worth it, Doctor? The orders said... Stop it. I already told you that the extermination orders won't apply to this subject, Jane. Follow the light with your eyes. Now to the left, and to the right. Good. Put the whole brain to sleep. Can you hear me? Wake up. Ugh. What? Where am I? I'm up here. Stand up. Oh no. You're bleeding. I'm alright. You have to use the medichamber. Get in. Whoa, slow down, doll. What is going on? There's no time for questions. We have to move fast. Ugh, I've been through this before. If you stay, they'll lock you down for experiments, like me. But I managed to hack down the medbot and woke you up. I can't give you orders, but I know how to get out. So I suggest we cooperate. Hmm, okay. So the fact that we don't know who the net is means that she's from another ship. Because um, we were part of US 13. Um, and if you looked at the Meditation. now active. at the chat that has loaded, it said we're location ES. What are you waiting for? You'll bleed to death. We're in the we're in the chamber unit. Um, All better now. Completed. So we. Yeah, this is definitely the ESS Meridian. Apparently, there's been some fight kerfuffle here. I doubt that's a lot blood. Um, and uh, Bailey's uh, shirt also said ESS Meridian. Um, I guess the there's a ship that's docked with us, and um, I'm guessing that we're cloned already. Uh, here's already something to read. Automatically recorded surgical precision in room 11 timestamp. Okay, so the ship automatically records whenever we speak. Um, experimental specimen. Aha! Uh -huh. So I named Jane Frey, so it seems that we're a clone, maybe, because that was what they were experimenting on. Um, Robert Wagner was under the impression that he was on a, a, a military base, uh, an orbital space station, and he was had to create the perfect weapon. Um, we saw just in the cutscene that we're actually on a spaceship, so what gave 
Uh, Widen of that uh, delusion? I don't know. I'm guessing it might have something to do with the uh, big honchos at Earth. I'm not sure. What's the status? The last graphs are holding. I think she'll make it. Those army idiots used the strongest possible discharge. They almost burned her to a crisp instead of just paralyzing her. Uh, well, with regard to our orders, it might have been better if they really killed her. I'm afraid all our work will be useless in the end. So when Kowski is probably from the other ship. Nonsense. The extermination will apply only to the subjects that couldn't be possibly rehabilitated. Uh, and all of us owe her a lot finally stopping that madman way now. Focus on your jobs. Yes, Doctor. The connection is re-established and the worst neural damage is patched, Doctor. Good. Activate the visual cortex. Leave the rest of the brain blocked for now. Uh, so evidently we've got a lot of repressed memories here we're not uh, privileged to. Are you sure it's not useless, Doctor? The orders said, stop it. I already told you that the extermination orders won't apply to this subject. Jane, follow the light with your eyes. Now to the left and to the right. Good. Put the whole brain to the, to the sleep. Now we'll start patching the muscular damage and... Doc, the major is starting emergency briefing. You will all attend immediately. Damn it. All right. She's stable for now. We'll continue later. So, Bailey evidently was stopping uh, the military from exterminating us. Um, not sure why. Um, are we part of a cover-up? Um, and as Bailey went off to the emergency briefing, the net woke us up for some reason. Um, even though we weren't properly healed. Disable the lasers blocking the hallway. The terminal should accept your fingerprint now. What killed him? I did. He was standing too close to a power conduit from the laser blockade. Get his weapon. You'll need it. You Sector C labs. Access granted. Have a good day, Jane Frey. Good. Now you have to go and turn on the main generator for this level. Uh, have a good day, Jane Frey. <laughs> Computers actually... Because last time in, um, in the first game, the uh, ship was actually trying to kill everybody. Um, Robert Wagner had programmed the ship um, to basically turn on the crew. So when it said uh, unpermitted activity in the propulsion core, it meant that there were crewmen in the propulsion core, which is unpermitted, they should be dead. I'm going to send zombies there. And the ship had a way of uh, manipulating zombies to go through the places in order to cull the crew. Um, one thing that wasn't really explained in... Actually, I should really check to make sure I'm not missing anything um, special here. Oh, ah, yeah. So, that's, that's notorious for them to hide things behind crates and things like that. So, you do need to be careful. Um, one thing that wasn't explained is... Um, oh, well, that was... That, that was Oh, here we go. What's that? A dog? That's a security cyber dog. It can't get to you right now. Hopefully, it'll be too busy with zombies soon. Find the generator. I can hack into most doors and security systems, but only if they're powered. The local grid is off, so only the systems with their own backup sources work. Together we have a chance. You're not going to make it alone, Jane. Wow, who's this guy? One of the experiments who wasn't as lucky as you. I hope my luck holds then. This is waiting for you too if they catch you. And me too. Either they'll chop us to pieces in the name of science, or they'll put us in vats as specimens. We already saw that in Dead of Air 1, so we evidently do have repressed memories being brought by Barry. Um, one thing that was in the original that we didn't really have any explanation for is why there were people on the ground and some of them would get up, others wouldn't. Um, why when we kill pe uh, zombies they disintegrate. The only thing I could put it down to was these people were killed by the zombies, so their bodies kept, where when we kill zombies 
their body disintegrates. Um, but why don't these animate? Uh, the other possible reason is because these were killed by a battle simulation previously using a gun that did not disintegrate. Um, so Robert Wagner was under the impression that he had to create a perfect soldier and was using zombies and um, personnel from the Unit 13 in order to try and create the perfect soldier. Um, uh, we also don't know, we saw monsters in Dead Effect 1, we don't know what the DNA splicing was till now, we now realise it's K9. Having said that, the cyber dogs here do look a little bit different, so um, since they're into cloning, they probably have all our systems, uh, our DNA systems loaded up on file, and they can clone whatever they want, including animals, and they splice them all together. Watch out! There's one of the subjects close. Not a friendly one. Staff Sergeant Jane Frey, all of you probably heard that the Ice Queen, I'm assuming we called the Ice Queen because of being cryogenically frozen, is the one who exterminated Professor Wagner. And some of you might think that we owe her something. From the legal point of view, it's extremely complicated. She might and probably will be charged with murder and mutiny. But there's one thing you should all know. It's not that Frey that you remember. Not anymore. I've seen a brief prepared by Dr. Balik about what was done to her. She was dangerous before, but now she's not human anymore. It must be considered extremely dangerous and hostile. She should be exterminated per our standard orders. But I've granted Dr. Balik's appeal, and Frey will be put in stasis as soon as she'll be well enough to survive the procedure. Her fate will be decided back on the Earth. I repeat, she's a dangerous prisoner. Don't hesitate to shoot if she tries anything. So evidently another ship was sent in to collect us, bring us back to Earth and uh, have us prosecuted. Um, the Earth is probably doing some sort of cover-up and blames us for killing everyone. I'm not sure about that. It's a, it's a little bit weird. Um, the ESS Meridian was designed to colonize another planet called Tau Ceti uh, because of disasters, uh, humanitarian survival. Uh, it was um, a Im very important role in colonization and evidently someone didn't want that because it was, you know, Robert Wagner was working on some weird um, ideas. Hopefully I'm not missing Double 
does it look like they've got a kill button? See, these guys look like they, yeah, we kill by the zombies. We don't know how long they've been there. You're close. Oh no, the cyber dog got to this sector. You'll have to deal with it. Okay, so this gives you a rundown on see side tunnel. Wow, this game's a lot more complicated than the other one, um, the original. Um, I'm, I am, must be on the easiest difficulty because I couldn't see any difficulty climbing. So the game kind of forces you to play on the easiest difficulty. Um, but I wanted to go through this. I enjoyed the blind run of it last time. Uh, what I am disappointed on is there's no wiki, so it uh, doesn't really exist yet. Hello, boys. Have you let all of the zombies free? How many? A lot. A few hundred. Maybe more. Was that really necessary? I told you. We need to slow down the soldiers. There's too many of them. You don't seem to have any problems with killing zombies. And it improved our odds. Half zombie. Wow. I like how they have their name. Uh, that's pretty cool. What do we got here? I like how the symbol looks like the Wayland Corporation. <laughs> I could see these being connected somehow. Okay, so that's all of them. You received general orders concerning former Staff Sergeant Jane Frey. Your personal orders are guard the prisoner and exterminate her on the first sign of trouble. The Russian swears, I'm guessing that's Bailey, that the Ice Queen is under control and she won't awake up unless we want to, which we don't. But I don't trust that damn doctor. You will stand guard by the prisoner. I considered eliminating her at once. But we'll put her in the freezer to keep Bailey in headquarters headquarter happy. If she as much as moves without me saying so, kill her. She may not leave any surgical theatre under any circumstances. Up to and including direct acts of God. Is that understood, Major Neville? So the There's a valve. Shut it down. What happened? You might have noticed that the ship isn't exactly ship-shape after all those experiments and fighting. There are power and pressure spikes everywhere. Um, okay, let's continue. Rudy boy. Let's see. So that's called a brog. Is that brog different than a cyber dog? What's up here? Ok, 
car I've been here before. Okay. So all we've done is a big loop. Alright, gotcha. So have I Oh I've got everything. Okay. There we go. So it must be coming up to the end. Is that um no, that uh I'm Frey. Yes, I know. Follow me. You could at least say thank you. Thanks for letting me out. Wasn't that hard, was it? We're not safe here, so I suggest we get the hell out of here. You don't look like you're part of this ship. Okay. Cool. Well, join me next time for Chapter 2. Bye for now.